Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on June 5th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at earthquakes, volcanoes, space weather, everything else affecting this planet. Having a look at 304 angstroms, we do have the one Earth facing sunspot. Not much else to talk about on our sun. Seems to be pretty quiet, considering small CME ejected from the right side there, outgoing position. But really no major events, except for that outgoing CME. And we are expecting the coronal hole wind stream, which was noted in yesterday's video, Large plasma ropes associated with that CME. Having a quick look here at multi-spectrum. I want to thank everybody for joining the family. Almost 37,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Earth-facing coronal hole. And we're still expecting that right now. Real-time solar wind. We're steady at about 329 kilometers per second. No major spikes really in our solar winds today. Nor geomagnetic activity. So it does remain low. Having a quick look at our geospace magnetosphere. Show you how our magnetosphere is holding up with the 328 kilometers per second. See the little bit of backside action there. So this is a magnetos magnetospheric plot. It's basically placing the solar winds around our planet in the center of that. And the black half is, of course, nighttime. Having a quick look at Schumann resonance for today. Sitting at a power of 46. Nice healthy energy today. Power of 10. Amplitude of 46. And our planet is a buzz right now, especially with all the earthquakes across North America right now. Started early this morning, earthquake swarm in the Salton Sea. As well, the 5.9 earthquakes off the coast of Oregon yesterday. 5.3 earthquake reported Salton Sea. And I was observing throughout the area to see if there were any hot spots. And I did find a couple here, but in the state of Arizona. And that's, that's exactly where a couple fires broke out overnight during all of and before all of this pressure through Southern California and the Salton Sea. And it seems to be moving and spreading, moving northward and spreading westward having a look here you can see out of the 600 earthquakes that are being reported by usgs right now almost 400 of them have been in the salton sea since it started early this morning and it was only after about maybe 75 microquakes when we finally had the big one the 5.3 in the middle of all this and then there were a couple 4.3, 4.2s surrounding through Westmoreland, but 5.3, 11 kilometers west of Calipatria, California, a five kilometer depth. And if you haven't seen the video that I released earlier, I did release some pretty credible evidence. There might have been something erupting in the Salton Sea. Who knows? I guess we will have to wait and see, won't we? I'm definitely keeping an eye on satellite imagery and the hotspots throughout the region. 364 in and around the Salton Sea out of the 600 earthquakes showing on the USGS map. So that is quite a swarm indeed. And I know there were a few people that have been in the live streams reporting they felt it. But not many people are going to feel 
a swarm like that. They might feel the 5.3, but you're not necessarily going to feel that swarm. We'll carry on here and continue with the earthquakes for the last 24 hours. Notable earthquake there in Russia, 4.2, 430 kilometer depth. As well, just recently, Japan, 4.3. And they've seen a few earthquakes throughout the region today, 4.4, 4.8. And as well, the Philippines, 4.8. Ternate, Indonesia, still seeing some aftershocks after the 6.1 a couple days ago. As well, Indonesia. Cinnabung, Mount Cinnabung seeing some action today with a 4.4 off the coastline. As well, a 4.2 reported here, 17 kilometer depth in Greece. 4.9 here, Rick Jane's Ridge. 10 kilometer depth. Minor earthquakes throughout Puerto Rico today. 72 kilometer depth, 3.1. Largest there. South America as well saw 5.4. And this is the largest of the day. The 5.4 earthquake, South America in Chile. South Shetland Islands as well seeing a 5.0. So definitely it's spread to the Antarctic plate and as well into the Atlantic. All of this reverberation and I was... Expecting a deep earthquake today, and we got it. Deepest earthquake of the day, 617 kilometer depth, 4.5 Fiji region. So heads up, everybody. We know what to expect after a large shallow earthquake like this, and as well when we have a Mercury retrograde, which I had warned three days ago, January or June 2nd, I warned, please share that video, video with your friends and family. Minor activity through Kermadex and as well New Zealand. Have a quick look here. The last seven days for earthquakes around the world. A lot of stress. Southwestern ring of fire into the West Pacific. Philippines plate. And as well, the deep action through Fiji. And many, many microquakes. Small shakers all across North America. Increasing movement through South America and into Antarctic. Heads up, Juan de Fuca and Cascades. Just have a plan to be ready. Wanted to show you here a quick dust storm that is forming off of the coast of Africa right now, blowing out of the Sahara. Just observed today, and this is probably about the largest sandstorm of the season. It definitely could change the dynamics of the Atlantic within the coming days as we still haven't really seen the Atlantic hurricane season start as well as much as it did a week ago. Almost a week ago. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes to update, Nevados to Chilean, Sangue, Semeru, Reventador, Ibu, Dokono, Carinche, Sabinkaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Niragongo, Fuego, Etna in Italy. Observe the time lapse of an eruption overnight. As well, Ebico in Russia from a couple days ago, Sinabung in Indonesia. We can expect another eruption here pretty soon with those earthquakes around the region. Extreme heat across Canada, central regions in the plains moving eastward, right in front of all of the storms that are firing up with the big low coming out of BC. We got a few thunder boomers here today, and there were a couple tornado alerts that popped up through Saskatchewan, but mostly severe thunderstorm warnings. Tropical depression Chow Wan is still alive, heading towards Japan but not before, I'm sure, being thwarted out into the Pacific Ocean with this large low-pressure system coming out of northern China, heading into the Korean Peninsula. Big storms through Japan, Korea, and northern China. With this system as forecasted. And here is your five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, 
with Morning Dew daily events worldwide starting out here. Calgary, Alberta, things really cooling off even after a quick storm here today. It was 32 during the day two days ago and it dropped down to 17. So that was like a 15 degree drop. As soon as the sun goes down, those cool temperatures come. Looking here, long range forecast. Yes, that is snow in the foothills. But I'm expecting all of that to warm up as there is a big low coming to the west coast here in the long range. And it's going to be a warm one. So watch for thunderstorm conditions to head through Saskatchewan, Manitoba border, and into Ontario throughout the week. As well through Alberta as the low pressure system comes in and throws all this moisture northward. Moisture lingering around from the Gulf here. From the Colorado low. And watch for those to possibly form something big in the long range in the Atlantic. Strong diamond and high pressure ridge looks like it's just about to beat out quite a few low pressure systems ahead of that. And it looks like three of them are on its way to Iceland in the coming days. One, two, and three low pressure systems as well watch for all of that moisture to fling over into parts of eastern europe and northern europe finland continuing low here through turkey moving westward westward scattered chathers throughout central europe overlooking the indies and southeast asia heavy rains moving through china this week with that big low that i've been talking about heads up china and westward through Myanmar, heavy rains, coastal regions through Thailand and Myanmar. Daily evaporation rains throughout the week here. Heavier towards Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Australia. Watching for a pretty vigorous low pressure system here to head into southwestern Perth. The west coast of Australia coming in from Tuesday to Wednesday, widespread extreme weather. As well, you've got a low pressure system affecting parts of Tasmania and southeastern Australia this week. Now, this could be an interesting event. It's definitely going to bring some extreme weather to parts of southeastern Australia as far north as Brisbane. So, yeah, big events coming up here. That is the big story today with these two low pressure systems, Southern Australia. Overlooking Hawaii, high pressure ridge. No major weather systems affecting you. Interesting tightly whipped low pressure system here being ramped up by that high pressure. And watch for that thing to fly into the West Coast for the long range forecast. As I said, this could help really warm things up. That is going to be an equatorial Pacific low. And should have some nice warm air and warm moisture with it. Overlooking South America. No major weather events except for still a line of storms through Argentina. Up into Bolivia. As well, possible low developing here from Panama northward through Nicaragua and up into Mexico. No major weather events here to talk about, except for the developing low here through central regions, Congo and moving westward, but it's looking pretty dry in the long range forecast here for Africa. Hoping that the trade winds change here, we could have our second tropical system develop in the Atlantic in the long range forecast. going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the big lows that are ravaging our planet <laughs> well not necessarily ravaging but they are spinning and they are huge and they are going to bring some disastrous events to some areas on the planet much love to everybody and thank you to all of the new followers today welcome to the family morning dew is here for you keeping you aware and prepared Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.